Hey there once again and welcome back to the Next Gen Guide to English Grammar. This lesson is about the essential grammar that you need for that very important job interview in English. Of course, you want to give the best impression about yourself on every level, so it's critical to make sure that everything that you say is not only accurate, but deliberate and well planned. So in this lesson, we go through some of the questions that you should always be prepared for so that we can focus on that grammar that you need in order to show that you are the best candidate for the job. Why don't we start with that difficult question that many interviewers like to start with? Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Here's an example answer. I'm currently head of video production at Next Gen English. I've been there for the last three years, but now I feel that the time is right to move on. I have a degree in computer graphics and a teaching qualification from the University of Cambridge. I've also completed a number of specialist online courses over the last few years. In my current role, my responsibilities include managing the video production process from beginning to end and researching material for new topics. Feedback on the videos I've worked on has been overwhelmingly positive and I always try to improve with every project. I've applied for this position because I feel that this role could be a perfect match for my skill set and that this company would be a fantastic place for me to grow and develop my career. In this answer, we use two main verb tenses the present simple and the present perfect. We use the present simple for facts when we talk about ourselves and the present perfect to talk about our achievements. So remember that the present simple is subject verb one and the present perfect is subject have or has verb three. Here's a closer look at that answer again. Remember that you can just put your own details in and personalize it if you need to. Many interviewers also like to ask, what are your strengths? This is usually a difficult question to answer if you don't like talking about yourself. But in this case, you need that job and no one else is going to speak for you. So you just have to do your best and let them know why they should make you an offer. Here's an example answer that you can personalize with your own details. My biggest strength lies in my experience. I have over 10 years experience in my field, which means that there aren't many people around who know more about this role than I do. I'm also passionate about video production. Because I love what I do, I'm always full of positivity when I'm at work, and this usually rubs off onto others, which helps to build a great working environment. I'm also ambitious, not only for my career, but for the company that I represent. I want to work for the market leader, so that means that I have to give 100% at all times which is exactly what I always try to do. Now here, we mainly focused on stating facts, which is why we use the present simple again. However, one of the main positives of this answer is its structure. We give three summarized responses, then go into detail after each one. If you can show that you think in a structured way, you're more likely to come across as someone who is good at problem solving, which should weigh in your favor. The next question asks the opposite, but it certainly isn't any easier to answer. Do you have any weaknesses? Now, this is the kind of question that you have to answer without answering. Most people know what their weaknesses are, but telling a potential employer that you simply don't like going to work on Mondays or that you spend way too much time on Facebook when you're supposed to be working isn't really an option. So here's an example answer that you might use. My biggest weakness is that although I am an expert at video production, I still don't know as much as I'd like to about directing live streams. This is something that I've been meaning to address for the last one or two years, but I haven't had the time. Having said that, I have researched some good online courses to help me improve in this area, and I intend to start one in the near future. Here again, we use a mixture of present simple and present perfect to talk about facts and to talk about actions from the past up until now. 
The main point of this example answer is to let the employer know that we are aware of where we need to improve and that we are proactive in this regard, as we've already taken steps to improve. Another question might be, where would you like to be in five years time? Successful people set career goals. If you're really as ambitious as you say you are, then you should have a plan of what direction you want your career to take whilst you're at this company. Show that you want to be a successful person by having a clear set of medium term goals. Here's an example answer. I want to be a key employee at a leading company. I want to be in a senior role with a strong team and enough responsibility to really show what I can do. I'd like to know that my work is valued and respected, so it's important for me to have the opportunity to work my way up into a position that allows me to produce the kind of quality that I'm capable of delivering. Although this question is asking about the future, the answer that we need should only talk about firm goals that we have right now. So phrases such as, I want to be and I'd like to know are important here. And finally, the question, do you have any questions for us? Most interviewers usually allow a few minutes at the end of the interview for you to ask questions. Here are a few questions that you might like to ask at your interview. What are the company's plans for the next five years? What opportunities are there for career progression in this role? Could you describe the work culture at this company? What are the best and worst things about working for this company? Why is this position available? Now, one of the most important things in your interview is to stay positive and to feel relaxed and confident. Try to be as accurate as you can with what you say, but don't focus on not making mistakes. Try to focus on your qualities and strengths instead and show them that you are the best person for the job.